quick dev tip. I got a great little tip for you today on quickly setting in and out pins on custom events and functions and things like that. In my example here, I want to have my custom event feed through a float to fill this variable here. So the normal way to do this would be to click and click on your event, add a new parameter, find the variable type, in this case a float, and then we'd name it something relevant. Okay. But there's a much quicker and easier way to do this, and that's literally grabbing your pin here off your variable and dragging it and dropping onto the custom event here. Great thing about this is it sets the variable type and also the name is the name of the variable. So if you want to do, you could just go in and quickly change that, but most of the work is done and it's a very quick way of doing it. You can see here we can just add, if we wanted to add a bunch more variables very quickly, boom, boom, boom. They're all the right type, they're named well, and you're good to go. This works in functions as well, so if you see here, we can go inside my function. Uh, if I split this guy, then we can drag these into the return node and very quickly make returns that we want. One thing I like to do is I will copy variables around and then I will paste them in places where I'm going to need them. So in this example, I want my my ins, my function ins to be these guys, so I just copy them in here and I can really quickly add them uh, and then I can delete them. An interesting thing to note here is that you can't use a set on a return output. So it will do the correct type, but it won't do the name. If you would like to do that, it's better to have some getters and do the do, do it that way. And that'll keep the name and the type. It's super useful and I use little tricks like this, especially this one, a lot, just to sort of help speed, speed things up.